Hey guys, it's Roxy from Claude Fitness and welcome back to my channel. Today we are in my bed, uh, not for the reason that you think, you dirty little monsters. Yes, my crispy little chicken nuggets, we are going to be talking about sleep today. I thought this was the perfect time to talk about sleep because here in Alberta we are all stuck at home and our sleep patterns have gotten all sorts of messed up, at least mine have. So I thought it was a good time to review some good sleep hygiene. I'm going to divide this video into two parts. The first part is before sleep and the second part is after sleep. So starting with before sleep. So a couple of hours before your bedtime, which yes, you do as an adult have to have a bedtime, you are going to prepare your mind and your space for a good peaceful sleep. First thing you're gonna do is before your predicted sleep time, 60 minutes at least, no screen time. I am serious about this. It really does make a huge difference at the end of the day. So make sure that you put away the tablets, you put away the phone, put away the TV, no watching TV in bed before sleep. Instead, you're going to want to change those activities to nice gentle ones. So I like to listen to a sleep podcast or maybe some gentle music. If you absolutely need to, read a book, an actual physical book, not your Kobo, right before bed. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is prepare. So you want to prepare for your next day. That means you pick out your outfit, you put it on your door or you put it wherever you need to. That way you don't have to think about it when you get up. You do your nighttime routine and make sure you keep your nighttime routine really Really consistent. For myself, that means brush my teeth, that means wash my face, and put on all of my beautiful anti-aging creams. Oh, how old is she? We'll never know. That's just part of my routine. In terms of getting to sleep, it is super important to associate your bed with sleep. So that means that you don't use it for any other activity. You don't lay on it during the day. You don't eat in bed. The only thing you do is sleep. You're going to want to prepare your bed, pull your sheets out, and then go through any additional routines. So for myself, that means using a sleep spray. I like to use this one, which is called I Already Want to Nap Tomorrow. And I like to put on my sleep mask. I have a sleep mask from uh, Winners, I do believe, and I've had it for years. It conforms to my face and blocks out all the light. Because I've established this routine, I have wired my brain to associate those little things with sleep. So every single time I spray my pillow with my sleep spray or I put on my eye mask, I fall asleep instantly. All right, so we're in bed, we're having a great sleep, now, we are going to move after sleep. So you want to determine how long you actually want to sleep. Our brains work in REM cycles, so you want to make sure that you complete a REM cycle and that you don't wake up um, you know, by oversleeping in the middle of a REM cycle or undersleeping in the middle of a REM cycle. Usually, you know, it depends. A lot of studies vary, but usually that means that we sleep in three hour cycles, six hours, seven and eight hour cycles. So make sure that you find the perfect cycle for you. You may need to experiment, but that brings me to my second point, alarm clocks. Stop using the snooze button. Yes, I'm talking to you and you and you, my crispy little chicken nuggets. You are going to stop using the snooze button. You are not getting anything out of that extra five to 10 minutes. Just set your alarm later. It's as simple as that. If you have problems sleeping like my partner does, you may want to seek out an alternative alarm clock. We have a alarm clock mat that is actually situated in our bathroom and it has a very loud and annoying ring to it when it actually goes off. But what you need to do is you need to get up out of bed and you need to stand on it for at least 60 seconds in order for it to go off. For myself, I don't need that type of alarm clock. I just work with my phone. But on that note, my phone is not within reach of my bed. If I roll over and put my arm over, I cannot reach my phone. So that means I have to get up out of bed and get to my phone to turn it off. Now, we've had our sleep, we're out of bed, what do we do? Well, the, you may think that it actually stops there, our sleep hygiene stops there, but it doesn't. There's a lot of things that we can do after we wake up in order to ensure a good night's sleep 
for the following night. You're gonna wanna make your bed the moment you get out of it. There is a psychological response with making your bed, therefore you can no longer lie in it. So make sure that you make your bed nice and pretty, and that way you've also accomplished something at, right at the beginning of the day. You've already checked off something and you are good to go. You are on a productive path. Staying hydrated is also a very good and important step to sleep hygiene. You want to make sure that the first liquid that touches your lips in the morning is water, not caffeine. You're going to want to make sure to drink at least a liter of water in the first couple of hours of the day just to regain your hydration levels. We lose a lot during our sleep actually so it's a good thing to start with water first and then if you need to introduce a small cup of caffeine afterwards. During the day try and avoid napping therefore you will be more tired when you go to bed at night but if you absolutely need to nap try and not nap in your bed. Try and nap on the couch or somewhere else in your house just because you still want to uh, create that feedback loop in your brain that when you go to your bedroom and sit on your bed for the first time in the evening, it's time for sleep. And those are a couple of tips about sleep hygiene, guys. Um, I know it's very difficult in quarantine to keep those hygiene habits up, but they are incredibly important when it comes to sleep. So push and make an effort, make yourself a list of what you need to do before bed like um, you know picking out your outfit and all that sort of stuff that you would normally do if you would go outside you know your walls your confine um, and go to work so please keep doing that don't stay in your pajamas all day you guys you want to be on the path of productivity even though you are at home so thanks for joining me guys hope you enjoyed this video like and subscribe for some more videos like this and I will see you guys really soon bye